Let's see. The upgraded RAM does look good, but so does the upgraded SSD. Or do I just want to indulge and get a new cooling system? You know what, I'll just take a water. Hello, my name is Trisha Hirschberger and you are watching DIY in 5, the show where I, hopefully, make complicated technology more accessible. Today we'll be answering that age-old question, if I could upgrade one single piece of my PC, what are my options and what should I choose? What should I upgrade next? Well, first of all, we need to acknowledge what exactly your needs are. Let's say you run more demanding software, like photo and editing applications. Or you're a gamer with a computer that's lagging more than it should. You might want to consider upgrading your RAM. First of all, adding more RAM is among the easiest and most accessible of upgrades that you can make and, even better than that, it's more affordable than it's ever been. So you can save all that money. Typically, even if you're not the most tech savvy amongst us, adding newer and better RAM will provide you with instant results. Just make sure to check the system specs to assure your system isn't already at its maximum RAM capacity. That's what she, no, stop, don't do that. Okay, got it. If your PC runs at the perfect speed of lickety split, but you need to expand your storage space, then the answer for you might be to upgrade your storage. In general, expanding your storage capacity will allow you faster boot times, faster running speeds, and greater responsiveness when using those huge data gobbling programs like Photoshop or Final Cut or, you know, the latest FPS. The first thing to find out are you using an old school HDD? Because if you are, you should consider upgrading to an SSD. SSDs, or solid state drives, give you a much faster response time than a traditional hard disk system. However, it's a bit more expensive per gig. Luckily, prices have come down a ton over the years, so an SSD upgrade is more affordable than ever. Now, some of you are saying, my computer's already super fast and has a lot of memory, but my games are still lagging so much. If this is you and you have the cash flow for it, you may want to invest in a new GPU or graphics processing unit. The general rule for higher tier games or editing software is if your frame rate dips below 60 frames per second, you should consider upgrading. The integrated graphics processor standard with your computer could be fine. They allow watching 4K video, doing some work on Photoshop, and playing a lot of games that are out there. However, if you're serious about gaming or editing, a new GPU is an investment that you should make. But what if your PC can already hum Hamilton and chew bubblegum? You just wanna update its appearance. A new case could be your answer. There's a lot of options, different sizes, designs, and lots and lots of different features to keep in mind. First of all, how big a case do you need? From here, answer questions like, what quality of case can I afford? What sort of aesthetics do I want? Do you wanna be able to see your computer's guts? Because we can do that now, we have the technology. Another thing to consider to improve your rig's appearance would be adding RGB anything. I mean, do you want your computer to be flashy and shiny like a computer in the future? Now, what if your computer is super fast but runs really hot? Let's take a gander at your fans and CPU cooler. First of all, fans are typically not too difficult to upgrade as they're mostly designed to be modular. Lego for adults. Smaller fan or bigger fan, they can both work just fine. A bigger fan doesn't have to work as hard and tends to be quieter, but whatever you get, you have to make sure it fits in your rig. And if you like RGB, you know that shiny, flashy, pretty stuff we mentioned earlier? You can get fans with those too, so then it's shiny, flashy, windy, pretty. Yeah. If you're always overclocking your computer and you've got the highest of high-end everything, but your rig still lags, let's get you a liquid cooling system, kiddo. The advantage here is that they get rid of the heat silently and efficiently and look really cool. The disadvantage is that they can be on the pricier side and they're more advanced to install. Also, they only cool certain areas of your computer, so you'll still need a fan to cool the rest of it. The last thing you might consider upgrading is your motherboard or your processor, but be warned. Both of these are very advanced things to tackle and can start to become very expensive as you typically need to upgrade both at the same time and may need an update for your BIOS. If you can get better performance by doubling your RAM or updating your hard drive, we recommend trying that first. And that's it. Those are the options as we see them. We always love to hear from you, so please let us know in the comments below if we were able to help you figure out what's best for you to upgrade. Then make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for future tech tips. 
My name's Trisha Hirschberger, and you've been watching DIY in 5.